Hello, my name is Deborah Fox, Chief Moxie Officer of Image Development Group and an international, motivational, and educational speaker and author. My newest book is entitled Finding Your Moxie, Miss and Lies Successful Women Kick to the Curb. I've been honored to be a guest speaker in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia, and I would be equally honored to be a guest speaker for your organization as well. Hello, my name is Deborah Fox, and I'll be your instructor today as we go through the How to Become a Better Communicator seminar. Since communication is my favorite topic to train on, you can look forward to a training full of interesting stories, analogies, and learning points that will help you as you begin to make changes in your communication skills. The purpose of argument is not victory, but understanding. Bottom line, conflict is not a dirty word. Allow me to explain conflict and why it really is not effective to ignore or avoid it. Conflict is very much like a splinter in your hand. While it is true that occasionally a splinter will work itself out, we all know that most of the time, if left unattended, a splinter will fester or get infected. In turn, that small, insignificant splinter turns into a much bigger problem than it really needed to be. Conflict is the same way. While some conflicts will work themselves out if left alone, the reality is that if left unattended, most conflicts will fester and turn into mountains. I have been training in this capacity for 15 years. And every single day or every single week that I'm out, as I'm sure many of you have experienced, someone will approach me during the day and say, Deborah, do you mentor people? Do you coach people? <laughs> After about the first two years, I really quit getting excited about that. Here's why. In two years, not one single solitary person that I agreed to work with completed the first thing on my mentor list for more than two weeks. <laughs> the first thing on my mentor list was if you want me to mentor with you, you have to commit to listening to 30 minutes of an audio, morning and night, educational or motivational, and you have to commit to reading 10 pages of the same type of book every night before you go to bed. The reason why we want to invest in audios and resources and books and mentors and coaches and things that can help us. It's because of this. Write this down, every one of you right now. Statistics show us that, it, that every single given day of your life, you are inundated with over 3,000 negative influences. 12 positive inputs to offset one negative. Now let me do the math for you. That's 36,000 positive inputs a day just to emotionally break even. Please tell me, how are you coming on that? <laughs> Today, here's the issue. It's not my job as a mentor to dig your mind out of the gutter. My job as a mentor is to mold what you give me. If you don't think you're worth 30 minutes morning and night, if you don't think you're worth investing in, why should I? <laughs>